Hey guys and welcome to Petrol Ped and welcome to the Millbrook Proving Ground. I'm here for the SMMT test day and although I've got the opportunity to drive lots and lots of cars today, the guy said, would you like to drive a truck? And I went, hell yeah, what's the biggest one you've got? Well, it's that. <laughs> so today I'm gonna get to fulfill an ambition I've held for a long time as one of my big brothers is actually an HEV driver. Today I'm gonna get to drive an articulated lorry and I thought you would like to come along for the ride. And then I'm gonna drive an electric lorry just for a bit of comparison. Look at that bad boy, 44 tons, bring it on. Wicked. So, guys, this is Yad, my... <laughs> that was a McLaren. No, uh, 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 that was a Gordon, Gordon Murray, Murray T50. T50. Yeah. Slightly less power in this. Just a bit. So, tell, so we are in an all-electric truck. We're in an all-electric 7.5 tonne truck. So Wicked. we have a full electric motor. We've got 66 kilowatt hours of usable battery life. Yep. Uh, that gives us a range of about 100 kilometres when we're fully laden. So full load of 7.5 tonne. Um, that's 100, mark, sorry, 100 kilometres. Yep. Um, it's got a 180 horsepower motor with 390 newtons of torque. Wow. It's actually more powerful than a diesel conventional truck. Wow. So it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good package. So I thought I'd start off seven and a half ton because I have driven seven and a half ton lorries before. I had a couple of different horse boxes. Yeah. Uh, they were, one was a Renault Midland, oh, right, okay. 25 foot long, yeah. big old thing. Um, so this should be reasonably familiar and it's yeah. a good way to build me up before I get Absolutely, in the big boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So is it just, just do the window up a little bit. It's a nice introduction, introduction. So to, just, uh, uh, so it's on already. Pedals. Yep. On already. Uh, so we'll just stick it and drive. So all the way down the left, just check the coast is clear and we can go. Yeah. There we go. Handbrake. Ah, there we go. Someone left it on full lock. <laughs> <laughs> so a hundred kilometers. So this, it's pretty quick. It is pretty quick. I mean, you feel free to, to give it a go. Okay. That's the fastest seven and a half ton lorry I've ever driven. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. So this would be perfect for city um, deliveries, that kind absolutely. of thing. Absolutely. So its intention is to be used as an urban distribution truck. Yeah. And then yeah. what about um, charge times and those types of things? Charge time is quite good. Um, so as you know, with a seven and a half ton license, you've got to have a tachograph, um, yeah. which means you've got your 45 minute driver break. Um, which means it gives you an ideal opportunity to charge the vehicle up. Yeah. Um, so we could do zero to 80% charge in an hour on a 50 kilowatt fast okay. charger. Yeah. And zero to 100 takes an hour and 45 because that last 20% just takes uh, a little it bit. Always. Extra, so you said it was 40, 40 something kilowatt battery pack? Uh, 66 kilowatt 66 battery. 66 kilowatts, yeah. sorry. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. So you've got six battery packs, a total yeah. of 66 kilowatts. Wow. So this, I mean, it's really tough. I've driven lots of electric cars, but never an electric. I've driven an electric Mercedes Sprinter van. That yep. was really impressive, actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so there's just a casual Gordon Murray T50 parked up on the right hand side, people. Don't we don't look at that. That's fine. <laughs> um, so yeah, to the Mercedes Sprinter van, the all EV one, that was amazing. Actually, yeah, I know that performance-wise, it felt quicker and more sprightly than than a diesel one. Hundred oh, um, percent. That's obviously that's one of the benefits to having an electric motor. Yeah. Is that you've got instantaneous torque, but generally more power than your diesel equivalent. Yeah. Um, so this was the first electric truck to market. Um, first series production electric truck to market. So it's been around since 2018. Um, yeah. but obviously because the last couple of years of sort of COVID and stuff, we haven't really had the chance to show it off before. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing as well, you know, if you're, if you are a local distributor, you're not doing big long journeys. You're, you're not, doing yeah. city running, which I'm guessing the, the big benefit there is as well, you're, yeah, you're not at the maximum speed. So, you exactly. know, you're at, you're at reasonable speeds. We'll stay, we'll stay on the, the left hand yeah. side. I was here a couple of months ago with McLaren and you know, that was the same kind of thing. Um, yeah, so so I guess the faster it goes, drag starts to have a bit of an impact, Obviously, right? Yeah, and then, it's, it's and a then truck, right? So your, your drag <laughs> coefficient is is not decimal. Like a house, it's just, <laughs> drag it's coefficient one. of a house yeah. brick. Yeah. So um, so yeah, obviously motorway speeds all day is not where this excels. No. But around town, where you get an opportunity to use the regen and really exploit the benefits but of the electric it, motor. I mean, we're, at the moment we're, we're sat doing thirty miles an hour, yep. and that's and then it's got the normal instant torque you expect from an electric car. Obviously Absolutely. a bigger package, more weight, but it's really responsive. Very it's, light steering. It's a very familiar driving experience yeah. in terms of powertrain. Um, 
Wow. Yeah. It's quite an impressive the, thing. The future could well be yeah. electric trucks. Maybe Elon Musk has got it right. <laughs> I'm not convinced about electric for the really big ones, though. Yeah. So, I mean, in terms of where we are at the moment with technology, yeah. this is a perfect example of, a, of electric mobility in the trucking world. Yeah. Um, a lot of our customers that use even diesel canters don't tend to do more than 50 miles a day. Yeah. So we've got more than enough range for these people. Yeah. Uh, these customers and then you've just got the pros of it. It's, it's clean, it's easy to drive. Yeah. You know, you're not struggling between gear changes. No. You just get in, press the, press the and go. And it's pedal. got a lot of torque and a lot of power. Exactly, so. yeah. Wow. Awesome. That has now got me into trucking Truck mode. mode. yeah. So now I think we need to go diesel. We need to up the tonnage a little bit. Where would you like me to park this one? Uh, so if you just park to the right of the Econic. Um, uh, sorry, the, the white truck in the middle there. Oh yeah. So we'll just park um, to the right of that and... Uh, yeah, now we'll go, we'll go longer, heavier. And taller. Taller. Just more. And bigger. <laughs> Mate, thank you for that. My pleasure. Really enjoyed I'm that. glad you enjoyed it. I did, that was very cool. Oh, that's... that's that's it's, really impressed it's a cool me. Little truck. Yeah. It's very cool. It's very nippy. Um, yeah. yeah. Cool. Right. Awesome. Let's head over into the big truck. Thank you, my friend. My, my pleasure. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so then, guys, time to climb up in board. Come and have a look out close. <laughs> it's, it's, it is a proper climb up. What could possibly go wrong? See you in a bit. We're ready. So, key lock signation, so it doesn't matter where the key is. Okay. It can be anything, the dash can be in the driver's pocket, it can be somewhere safe, like them in there. So on there. The start button, yeah. and the silver button Don't there. Need to put the foot on the brake on there. If you put your foot in the brake, yeah. that will start straight away. All right. Yeah. But what we want to do is do a pre-ignition check. Okay. So, first one puts auxiliary on, second one's ignition, so just press it. There it is. Yeah. Uh, so that's your ignition on. Now press and hold the, the start button and then the truck will start for us. There we go. So it's gone now. So once wow. you see the lights have gone off, oh, it's off. Uh, wow. So to engage drive, we just put foot in the brake. Yeah. Slider into drive. There. Foot off the, the brake pedal. Yeah. It'll disengage the handbrake. Yeah. Uh, but it goes into the hold function to stop it rolling away. So if the driver's sitting on any angle of that, the truck will, will roll back and roll. Uh, forward, yeah, uh, because it's on the hold, yeah, and that'll disengage as soon as you put throttle pedal, it knows it's got enough momentum and it will just drive on. Wow, okay, yeah. cool. So, how long's the truck on the back? A uh, 45 foot trailer, right? Okay, uh, what we've got there, we've got mirror cam in the vehicle, so the blue line it doesn't know if we've changed the length of the trailers. It was set up this morning when I first got here, so now it's asking us if we've changed trailers. We haven't, so we're just going to drive on. That blue line will stop flashing and it'll become... So that's the, that's the end point of the trailer? That's the end point of the trailer. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. cool. Wow. So we'll just drive on when you're ready. Okay, um, reminding myself that I've got a massive amount of yeah. trailer behind me. So just every time you're going to turn the bend and that, just as wide an angle as you can, like yeah. as you can. So we're going to come out here. Now, because there's nothing inside us, just take yeah. us hard round, hard round. Jack, screw it round, screw it all the way round, screw it. Yeah. If you just stop there for us, yeah. Uh, on your door panel, you'll see a circular button. Yeah. Below the circular button, there's a, a switch with an LED light on it. Yeah. If you switch that off for us, that is the view you would get with standard mirrors. You still have your wide angle mirror at the bottom. Yeah. But if you switch it back on for us, that's the view you get with our camera system. Wow. Okay. Because it is weird. I'm kind of looking out. It's a bit like when you drive a car with these the camera mirrors. Yeah. I love the fact that it's telling you how long it is, though. So. Wow. Yeah. So we'll just drive on from the right. Cool. So what uh, engine and power and stuff for the, uh, the kind of car nuts watching it? Uh, so what this is, uh, the lorry. what we call on the badge on the door, it says 2553. Uh, so it means it's a 25 ton tractor unit. Seatbelt. Seatbelt, uh -huh. yeah. With 530 horsepower on it. 530 horsepower, and that's what kind of torque? Yeah, a yeah. Lot. Yeah, 2,200 newton meters of torque. Really? Like that. <laughs> oh, it's the most torquey engine I've ever driven already. Um, so off the bat, it's really easy to drive. Easy to drive, comfortable. Uh, you can see how quick and slickly it's changing gear. Yeah. Obviously, we're freighted at 40, 40 ton at the moment, so we've actually got the weight 
can you really feel it coming on? So it is, the trailer's got stuff in it? The trailer's loaded with IBCs, 1,000 litre IBCs filled with water. So how much weight have we got? We're, we're, we're sitting at 40, freight, all combined, combination weight of 40 tonne. Wow, okay. Man, this is amazing. So that's 30 miles an hour. Wow. <laughs> uh, honestly, when, when I came today and someone went, do you want to drive a truck? I was like, yeah, yeah. My big brother is a truck driver. He was in the army, drove trucks in the army, in the logistic corps, and now he's a full-time stop, truck driver. Stop swearing at me. <laughs> oh no, what were you? Here we go, engineers. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no, you're Remy. Yeah, he was in the RCT. Um, yeah. You, 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 as, as a boy, I wanted to join the RCT, yeah, but... You uh, fixed uh, stuff, he got you around, yeah? Um, yeah, I know, and, and I used to, as a kid, we used to, I used to go and be his driver's mate, and. I used to love being in trucks, right. and, and I've driven lots of seven and a half tonners, but I've always wanted to drive an articulated lorry. I think it's one of the things in, through the industry. As a kid, I grew up in the passenger seat of a truck. I was always with my dad. Yeah. Any holidays, bank holidays, you very rarely see a kid in the passenger seat of a truck nowadays, uh, whether it's health and safety insurance. And I think we've lost a lot of that. People want to become drivers like that. Yeah. So is that? So on that right-hand stock, if you just pull that down to your knee, yeah. That's got our engine brake, so if it's dropped down the gears, yeah. and that'll just use the engine to slow us down coming around here. Now we've slowed down enough, you can take the engine brake off. All oh, right, okay. Uh, and what that is, we would try and encourage drivers to use more engine brake. You've got less wear and tear on the brakes. Yeah. That will not get service. You've got less environmental issues because yeah. you've got no brake dust or very little brake dust. So one of my followers, uh, Mark Ginger Baker, you will be loving this because he's a truck driver and he's always on social putting like the efficiency figures and stuff from his when he's been driving, and it's all about efficiency. So we're going to go round and round, round onto the pan on the right hand side. Oh boy! We're we going to do straight into the middle, or? Yeah, the straight in the middle's fine. Uh, head for the, the two white lines. So I've asked, I asked the guys whether I was able to have a go at reversing. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. So pull yourself forward, forward, forward. Uh, right up to the end of these white lines. Uh, and then we're just going to stop here. Now, the little roundabout you've seen on the right hand side, now what we're going to yeah. do is we're going to reverse round there. Okay, that way. So, so yeah. if you pop it in reverse. Uh, so that one? Yeah. So we're going to start going back, so it's now looking for... Uh, That was so, so cool. So we're just going <laughs> over to the right and then just go straight for us. And if we swap, I'll show you something. I'm not sure anybody else is. Oh, good. You so, can have a go. Yeah, so what, what we've got, and I'm only going to go first straight back. So what we've got in this is 12 forward gears and four reverse. Four? Four reverse, yeah. So, wow, okay. <laughs> so you're going to so, go fast backwards. So I'm going to try and get it up into reverse four. Reverse four. Wow, that's that's well <laughs> impressive. 
Go fast backwards with it, because when it starts to go wrong, it goes wrong really <laughs> quick, right? What I was wary of is nothing we saw had to try and come round. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, mate, that was brilliant. Oh, we've got a bed in the back as well. Look, we can have a bit of a, a, bit of a rest if we need to. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, my head. That, that is, um, that's impressive. Wow. Right, so, uh, into drive. Check the mirrors. So how many forward gears? 12. 12. Because back in the day, you'd have a manual box with high and low ratio high and low gears. Short, yeah. and all of that, none of that anymore. So we'll just, no. oh, he's going to hey, he's waving us off. Is he going to have a go at reversing us off? Nah. So go on, give me a, how did I do? Mark out a 10 for the first go. <laughs> Five? I would go slightly more, six and a half, seven. Like that six or nearly oh, a seven. Nearly okay. a seven, though, yeah. <laughs> Now, have we got enough space? Have I got to straddle this? Or? No, but, but, but it's, uh, so we want to be in the left-hand side of it. It does go down there. It's actually wider than what you think it is. It just looks narrow up here because we've got a wide cab here. Yeah, so, I thought it would be super intimidating in terms of how much truck you've got that side. side and yeah. it's not really oh, yeah. at all that different to a seven and a half tonner. No, no. Uh, once you're aware. And I think the vision you get on these help an awful lot. Don't so from going because I know when you're in a, in a road car going from normal mirrors to cameras, I, I didn't like them at all. What's the kind of feedback you're getting from people with these? In terms, is it because you've got these extra functions? You don't get that in a road car. Do you? I, I, again, what it is, is uh, and honestly, I, I would say Marmite, your younger generation of drivers love it. Yeah. Your older generation of drivers, because it's different technology, they're, they're not used to it. Yeah. We, we've got some feedback and we get complaints, but it's one thing we do at Mercedes-Benz. Any complaints we get, we will investigate them very seriously. So here you go. So let's talk economy then. What kind? Because of, I know the thing that amazed me that is the the fuel economy in truck terms. When it's good, it's still terrible when you compare it to cars. Cars. But, yeah. but these are super efficient from a from a truck point. Uh, of truck view. point of view, yeah. Uh, just taking the the mirrors off it and a few tweaks we've, we've done to the engine and uh, the aerodynamics we got a 1.3% improvement on fuel consumption with just taking the mirrors off. Which when you're doing thousands of miles a year that's that's huge. And just give it full throttle. Wow and come slightly down to the left, as I say, we've got water on our walls like that, isn't it? Wow, you can kind of just, it's quite impressive, you can feel the power, oh, feel yeah, the it pull. Just, it just digs in. Yeah. It's, I mean, that's, that's, quite, that's four times heavier than anything I've ever driven before. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to become a truck reviewer. <laughs> this is much more fun than driving cars. And then a bit of engine braking down here. Okay. That towards you. And then, so stay in the right hand lane. He's went straight through. We'll go round to the left. So just on the brakes for us. Oh, okay, just go straight through. <laughs> Uh, we're going to join live traffic. Yeah. So as we come down here, we see where the marshal is. So just slow us right down, and we want to be in the right-hand lane. So as we come round, and the right we're not, lane. yeah, we're not approaching into the live traffic coming round there. So down that way. Yeah. yeah so round to the left. Nothing should be coming down the hill. And bring us round to the left. So we're not over there. One. Uh, no, carry on. Uh, so, knock oh, your engine brake off, and go. we're going to take the next left. Just conscious of that, that big ass trailer on the back. Yeah, yeah. Dragging around with us. Uh, Ah, 
and take a big look round the back of the van. Yeah, I don't want to take that out of me. To the right of the refuse truck? Yeah, to the right of the refuse truck. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh. And then round to the left. Wicked. Oh man, that was that was very cool. Uh, so just uh, neutral. Yep, and then just switch it off. Uh, so the button on there. Yeah. So with ours, if, if you've left it in drive and just switched it off, handbrake's applied. If you open the door, handbrake's applied. Yeah. I mean, oh, we've got safety measures built yeah. in there. To stop a driver getting out and it's got rolling away. Like, no, yeah, no, no, not something this size. Like, no, no. Mate, thank you so much for that. No that was absolutely <laughs> awesome. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. Uh, Awesome, big thanks to Mercedes-Benz Trucks for, for allowing me to drive both of those. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Maybe more trucks needed. Oh, <laughs> Mark Ginger Baker, that was for you, my friend. <laughs> See you on the next one. Drive safe.